All networked enabled DCI amplifiers allow for users to save and load settings in three different ways, device files, presets, and speaker tunings. This video will cover saving and loading amplifier speaker tunings. A speaker tuning contains all the settings associated with the output processing of one amp channel. The output processing includes the crossover, output EQ, output delay, and limiter processing sections. This differs from a preset, which is a single snapshot of all amp settings, and a device file, which is a package of 20 presets. Any speaker tuning can be loaded onto any DCI amplifier with DSP no matter the amplifier's channel count or output power. This provides an easy method for creating custom amp configurations on each amplifier in the system and allows for easy distribution of custom speaker tunings. JBL and Crown have worked together to provide an ever-increasing speaker tuning library of the most commonly used JBL install speakers. To load a JBL speaker tuning, the correct speaker tuning library must be loaded. Click on File, Open, Speaker Tuning to select from a number of speaker tuning libraries provided by JBL. Select the desired series of speakers and click the Open button. Next, double-click the speaker tuning icon for the channel you wish to edit, which opens the speaker tuning window. Click the Recall button to open a window allowing the exact speaker tuning to be selected. Press OK, then close the window. You should notice that some or all of the output processing DSP sections are highlighted blue, indicating that they have changed from the amp's default settings. To save a custom speaker tuning, make all the desired changes to the crossover, output EQ, output delay, and limiter sections. Then double click on the speaker tuning icon for the associated amp channel. Next, click the store button, name the preset, then press OK. This speaker tuning can now be loaded onto any of the remaining channels on this amplifier or any other DCI amplifier in the design. If you wish to transfer this speaker tuning library to a different computer, click File, Save, Speaker Tuning. Give the library a name, then click the Save button. This file can now be transferred to a different computer and loaded by following the same steps described previously. When all speaker tunings are loaded and the rest of the amplifier is configured, it is a good idea to save a snapshot of the settings as a preset. This is covered in a separate video. If these actions were not performed while online with the amplifier, Press the Go Online button at the top of Audio Architect, and be sure to send settings by clicking the S arrow. Thank you for watching this video. For questions, comments, or suggestions regarding this or any other video, please send them to the email address shown below. For technical assistance, please call the Technical Support Department or email them at the options shown below.